the main treatment for hemophilia is replacement therapy, which is replacing missing or low levels of clotting factor 8 or 9. The process of this therapy is slowly dripping or injecting concentrates of clotting factors into a vein of a hemophilia patient. Concentrates of clotting factors are made from human blood. A hemophiliac may need replacement therapy on a regular basis, requiring a steady supply from donors. How often replacement therapy is needed will be determined by a doctor. Preventative replacement therapy is mostly used for people with a severe form of hemophilia. If a person has a form of hemophilia that is moderate, replacement therapy can be done only when needed. Obviously, having replacement therapy only when needed will be less expensive than when used preventatively. Although replacement therapy is a reliable treatment, there are complications that can arise. One such complication is that sometimes a hemophiliac may have developed antibodies to clotting factors. If a hemophiliac develops antibodies to clotting factors, the antibodies will destroy the factors before they have a chance to work. Hemophiliacs receiving replacement therapy could get a virus from the blood they receive. In the 80s, Many hemophiliacs became infected with HIV because blood was not screened for HIV. Today, the risk of receiving a bloodborne disease from replacement therapy is low due to the fact that blood is screened for diseases before it is given to someone. Another way hemophilia can be treated is with a man-made hormone called desmoprison, or DDAVP. DDAVP simulates the release of clotting factor 8. DDAVP is normally given using a nasal spray or through injection. The only complication of DDAVP is that it loses its effectiveness if it is used too often. So it is only used in certain situations, such as before dental work or before physical activities. Antifibrinolytic medicines are another way to treat hemophilia. These medicines include tranexamic acid and aminocaparic acid. These medicines should be used in combination with replacement therapy. Antifibrinolytic medicines are designed to keep clots from breaking down. These medicines are normally given in pill form.